Yeah, at the farmer level, for instance, when they market their produce, instead of bringing the waste at the market level, they can start improving packaging at the production level. So wastages are left there and they can use it to, for composting or for other materials. And it reduces cost in terms of transport, at the same time reduces wastage. They can also look into alternative packaging like instead of using traditional baskets where damages are inflicted on commodities and their products, they can start the more sturdy plastic crates or more formidable crates so that when they are handling and transporting their products, wastage and food loss are reduced, damages are reduced. At the consumption level, for instance, uh, retail and wholesalers are the ones uh, who can do much on this. For instance, because wastage at the consumption level is great, they can offer alternatives in terms of smaller packages or resealable packages so they don't have to buy the large packages and not consume portion of it and that leads to wastage. Yes. Well, I think first we have to start with raw materials available. The indigenous materials, they can uh, develop programs in a way that usage and utilization of indigenous materials are encouraged by giving incentives and by giving ways and means by which they can be tapped and processed. Like uh, giving incentives to private sector who use them partly as packaging materials so it leads to development in the process. Also in terms of regulations, government can do regulations on what to use and what not to use. Those that can, like plastics and the likes, in some cases they are banned, in some cases they are regulated because aside from uh, addressing packaging, on one side they contribute to environmental concerns. So government has a balancing act in the process. Yeah. Well, I would see private sector more in the area of research and development. They are the ones who have the capabilities, they, want, they are the ones who have the funds for it. They can trailblaze. And in the process of doing research and development, they can include government, they can engage farmers, because any advancement in R&D will not only benefit the private sector in the long run, it will be more sustainable if all the stakeholders are benefited and involved in the process. And it's the private sector who has the most in terms of doing that.